Hey everybody, happy Thursday. I'm Mrs. Potts, one of our math teachers and mentors. I am Mr. Reeker, the 8th and 12th grade social studies teacher. Let's kick off the announcements with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So obviously, we're still in Spirit Week and today is 80s day. And we are rocking it hardcore because that just happens to be the decade that uh, me and Mr. Raker were born. Probably the best decade ever on so, Earth. It's only natural that we're just awesome yes. at looking like this. And speaking of rocking it, don't you forget about the rockin' red and silver dance that is coming up right here in the new Florence Center where you can rock it out with your teachers and a lot of other students. Now we've already had some uh, students RSVP to it, so it looks like we're going to have a great turnout and we want you here too. So if you are a faculty, staff member, student, parent, anybody you wanna to come to this dance, make sure you come. It is on February 8th from seven to 10, as I said, right here in the New Florence Center. If you're interested or have any questions or anything like that, make sure you hit up Mrs. Reekard with an email at areekard at achievementcharter.com. I always have a lot of fun at those dances. Everybody does. <laughs> Is it because you laugh at me the whole time? Yes. I thought so. All right. So on a serious note, we're halfway through the school year and parent-teacher conferences are coming up. So parents, if you're listening and watching, if you would really like to have a parent-teacher conference for your student, now is your opportunity to let your child's mentor know. We will be holding those parent-teacher conferences on Monday, February 11th, as well as on Thursday, February 14th. The details of the times are posted on our main site, so check it out if you would like more information, or like I said, you can always contact a mentor or a teacher. We all know the information. Students, if you are a little concerned about those parent-teacher conferences coming up, maybe didn't perform as hot as you wanted to in quarter two, that doesn't mean you can't have fun on a Friday and not also go to your classes and learn a little bit because there is a ski trip planned on the slopes of the Hidden Valley Mountain Resort and that will be on February 15th and it is from 9 a.m. till 9.30 p.m. so it is an all-day ski event so hopefully there's some fresh powder out there on the slopes and we can all hit the slopes together and the greatest part is that we have the conference center in the lodge booked so that you can bring your computers as well and if you have class or some work you need to catch up on you can take a break from the slopes and grab a cup of hot cocoa and finish up any work you have to before you head out for the evening session so if you're interested in that please make sure that you check out the survey on the main page so that way we can get a gauge of the interest level and some of the ideas that you guys might have about it so make sure you check that out as soon as possible also students have you ever wondered if you have a voice that you would like to change for AHCCS. You currently do, and the student council wants your voice and your opinion. We want to hear that voice that you have. So check out the main page for a special message from our student council where you can let your voice be heard and let everybody know what you would like to see in the future of AHCCS. Yep. This school wouldn't be a school without you guys. So we want to know how you want it to be in the future. The student council exists so you guys can voice your opinion. So go ahead and exercise that right for you guys. Also, a big shout out to fellow social studies teacher and colleague Mrs. Minnick for setting up a fantastic, fantastic assembly yesterday with author uh, Kenneth Davis. He actually came right into the classroom and talked about what it's like to be an author, also a historian, and just some of his interest as, as a person that has been studying it practically his entire life and living in the Big Apple too. So if you were interested in seeing that, if you weren't able to make it, um, go ahead and you can check out the main page shortly and there should be a link up to the actual virtual recording with uh, Kenneth Davis and you can check out all the information and questions and everything else of the 200 plus people that were in there yesterday. So make sure you check that out. Two over 200. There were over 200 people on that. Yep, students and staff members, craziness. You know what, This now is the moment you've all been waiting for. Okay, I'm ready. It's probably something really good. 80s dance party. Just kidding. No? No. It's something even more exciting than that. Good, good, here we go. P-S-S-A's. Woo! Great. 
keystones. Come on, you gotta get excited. You guys, I know you guys are like, yes. Oh, I'm so excited to take this. You guys love it. Keep in mind, if you are in seventh, eighth, or 11th grade, make sure that you check out the information on the main page about the PSSAs and the keystones to make sure that you know if you need to take it and when they are going to be held so that you can prepare. Really hope that you are already taking advantage of the fact that you have wonderful teachers, awesome resources in order to prepare you for these tests. So like I said, check out the main page for more information. I know you guys are really excited. Yeah, try and curb that because, you know, your excitement could lead to flailing arms. You don't want to hit your laptop or student sitting next to you. So curb that enthusiasm, get studying, get prepared for those very important tests. That's all for us today. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. See ya. Bye.